Hey, John here. I was just flipping through some of the comments on my YouTube page. Somebody was asking about four layer boards. So here's how you set up a four layer board. Uh, you go in here, let's create a new project. Let's just call it, uh, what do we got? 2049, four layer. If I can spell L-A-Y-E-R, very good. Um, we could just route a board with nothing on it, but that would be uninteresting and cause weird problems with <laughs> knowing what's going on. It'd just be a board full of copper. So let me just throw down a capacitor. Oops, that's not a, a real capacitor. It bothers me that the... Uh, oh, there we go. Well, the, no. Uh, that's the P-Spice cap. The P-Spice is a uh, simulation system. I never use it because I tend to write design schematics for digital circuits rather than analog ones and p-spice is fantastic for analog circuits but i don't know what if any real value it has for digital circuits there we go let's put a ground on there and let's put a vcc on here you'll see why in a minute uh, wire here to there here to there so we have a circuit all right it's a filter circuit let's enumerate it c1 or annotate it save a net list oh <laughs> be nice to have a footprint on there otherwise we can't put it on the pc board uh capacitor surface mount uh there it's one of those okay save it net list it all right, so now we have a schematic with a net list. Let's bury this and open up the PC board. Okay, import our net list with our super fancy complicated circuitry on it. Our one part design. Okay, what do we got going on here? By default, when you open up the PC board, you got your front and back copper. We're on a two layer board. What makes it a four layer board? You go over to setup, layer setup right here, and you change this from two to four. Now you'll notice you can go up to 32, at least right now with KeyCAD. Uh, I was at uh, KeyCon last weekend, and somebody in the audience was talking about the need to go beyond 32. So it looks like, uh, and, and the uh, programmers were there, and I do believe that they're going to add the ability to go to 64 soon. So if, if, if 32 is not enough for you, it looks like we do have a future with even more. Okay, uh, what do we got on here? Two layers, blah, 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 uh, parts on front and back, parts on front only, back only, and so on. Um, you can put all set this to whatever you want. Now, the th this sort of stuff in here, these groupings and these guys over here, whether or not it's a signal or power and so on, have to do with, uh, the, I believe this has to do with auto routing, and I don't use the auto router for my board. So I'm going to just leave them all set to custom with all defaults on signal here. The, the the takeaway here is that you got to go to four layers. That's your four layers. You see the inside layers are called N1 and N2. So we hit OK. Now you have these guys over there. And at this point, it's just routing a board. You know, when you draw traces on the front, you click this and draw copper. You do a fill, whatever you want, on the front. You do it on the back. You do it in the inside as well. Let me show you a few things about this, though. Let's put a board outline down, uh, edge cuts. Polygon, let's draw a nice board. Give me a grid. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, oop, come on. Now let's just go like this. Do, do. Ding, ding. Uh, all right, hang on a minute. Escape, there we go. Let's move this in the middle here. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the inside layers. Normally when I do a four layer board, the inside layers are used for power and ground so let's put down these zones all right and when i do a zone i usually draw it around the outside of the board edge so that the whole thing is filled up you can do it however you want let's make the inside layer one be set to the ground net now this is why i put the schematic in there if the schematic had no nets no signals anywhere there wouldn't be anything to connect this plane to and it wouldn't be able to draw the plane so that's uh, an interesting shortcoming, if you consider it a shortcoming, of KeyCAD that doesn't allow you to create copper 
unless you have a net, but kind of hard to have a schematic with no nets. Once you get to this point, you can click here or double click there to end it, or you can hit right mouse and hit close outline. I probably mentioned this before, or if I didn't, it's my bad. On in two, let's set another polygon on the other inside layer and connect it to VCC. So now what this will do when I design my circuit is it will allow me to put a via anywhere I want on the board if I want to access ground or VCC, which is really nice. I no longer have to actually run traces all over the, oh, I got to get a ground over here or whatever. Ground is everywhere and the power is everywhere in this particular design. Of course, you might have uh, ground loops and other issues in your designs that you might want to deal with, but that's a different story. This is about four layer boards, how to get the layers on there, how to get them in use, okay? Front layer. Um, I drew these these um, these uh, zones. I can hit B to redraw them and fill them, and they're not filling. All right, I can click here. I can look at them. I can't see them. You can't see them because for a filled region to have copper in it, it needs to have a track in the region somewhere that is a member of the net that you tied that fill to. Okay, and there's nothing anywhere in the middle of the board. If I just drew one little track that was a ground track, then the ground fill would connect itself to that track and so on. This is why I put this part on here. Let's put a, uh, a track on here and bring them over from ground. Put a via there, okay? Go over here and let's put a via here, all right? Now we have VCC on a via that goes through the board and ground on a via through the board. And if I hit B now, it will draw the uh, the inside fills. And you can see that obviously the yellow one must be ground because the VCC has it stayed away from it. If we look at all the layers, you'll see that the VCC layer here on inside number two is stayed away from the ground. So it did what you expect it to, right? If you want, you can even put more fills on the front and back as well. But in this case, uh, it's really not necessary unless you just want to um, uh, go ahead and just have the board evenly filled with copper, which does help, by the way, warpage and things like that. If you put like a whole lot of copper on part of the board and then not on the rest and you start having thermal uh, contractions and things like that, the board could curl up like a Pringles potato chip. So I usually fill the copper with all the uh, any unused reasons, uh, regions with copper. Uh, to prevent that from happening, that way that if it you know expands and contracts, it's equal everywhere. The inside planes will have that and automatically, but you might as well go ahead and do it everywhere, unless it's a problem for your design. So really, that's all there is to four-layer boards. Now go ahead and start routing away. Um, I guess we can do one other thing while we're here. If we're on an inside layer, we can go ahead and hide them. All right, so they're not in view. I'm now drawing on in one. Well, let's start on the front. Let's say you're drawing a trace. This trace right now is not connected to any net at all. Let's put a via here. And now I'm on the back, right? Let's hit escape. Let's go inside one. I'm still drawing traces. I'm now drawing on inside one. Let's put a via there. Okay. Now let's go over to inside two. I'm still drawing traces. Let's maybe draw it down here and over there, put another via there. And uh, now I'm back on the front again. Let's go on the back. I'm still drawing traces. Let's say we go over here. All right, do 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 Whatever, double click to end that or hit escape and save. All right, now if we turn the layers back on, oops, uh, show them again uh, and hit B to repower them you'll see that because I started drawing on the front, which is red, I drew on in one a trace that is not connected to the, the, the ground, like this via is connected to ground on in one. On in two, this is a trace that's not a member of the net that holds the power, so it went ahead and vo avoided shorting that trace out and so on. So you can go ahead and draw on them as well, uh, put tracks and stuff in there. 
Uh, of course, if you have your power inside and you do something like this, you could have other problems, right? You could actually, if you fill too much stuff in here, you could actually cause the the net not to even be able to be connected to both halves of the board if you totally chop it up. So you can't just be indiscriminately sloppy about it. But yes, you can draw on any layer. And again, just like the front and back, the fills will do the right thing and they'll flow into the net if they're a member of the net or avoid them with this gap like that and we talked about that on uh, i don't know early on when we talked about laying out the power supply uh controller for the breadboard so there's your four layer board thanks for watching let me know if i missed anything major or made any mistakes in the comments below let me know what you think thanks bye